Using NFTs to fundraise for your nonprofit. My name is George Weiner. I'm the Chief Whaler of Whole Whale. I'm so excited to talk about this because, frankly, NFTs are blowing up right now, and I think they can be used very effectively for nonprofits. Using NFTs to fundraise for your nonprofit. So, non fungible tokens or NFTs are reaching all time highs in public interest and dollars spent. New records for sales of the digital goods seems to have reached a new peak each week with the upcoming sale and the sale that just happened of Beeple's Every Day's compilation, which went for $69 million in March of 2021. Frankly, like the first 5,000 days sold at a Christie's auction and like it was a Beeple creation. If you don't understand any of these words, don't worry. If you're confused yet first, let me explain what a non-fungible token is in basic terms. If you can't wait and just want to jump to ideas on how nonprofits can leverage NFTs, just skip ahead um, down into the video a bit. But it may also help to better understand how crypto donations work for nonprofits before diving into this complex topic as well. So before we go deep, deep in, uh, disclaimer, this article, this video, it's, it's not recommending investing in crypto or NFTs as a strategy. This is not financial advice and we are far from financial advisors. Uh, past performance is not a predictor of future success and NFTs have proven to be a very volatile asset. Okay. Non-fungible tokens, the basics. What are NFTs? NFT stands for non-fungible token, which is a digital asset similar to Bitcoin, right? Uh, when an NFT is created or sold, an entry is written into a shared blockchain database, which can be used to prove ownership. While it's easy to make a copy of digital files, it's not impossible to fake the creation and ownership of an asset. So in the same way as if someone took a picture of the Mona Lisa, it's only a copy. It wasn't approved by the creator and it holds none of the value of the original work. The biggest difference between an NFT and Bitcoin is that each NFT is different from the next, whereas each Bitcoin can be swapped with one another. So Bitcoin is a fungible, right? In a fungible manner, each NFT is unique. And the are also called crypto collectibles and are the digital assets that are used, for instance, in a popular game, CryptoKitties. <laughs> for a little history here, the game CryptoKitties was first a major use case of NFTs has been a huge success. In fact, the game was so popular that it slowed down the Ethereum network when it actually launched. The game involves collecting and breeding little digital cats, and each cat is unique and owned by a different user. The game has been so successful that it actually resulted in over 40 million in transaction and has spawned a number of copycats, pun intended here, according to Investopedia in 2021. The company behind CryptoKitties, Dapper Labs, went on to launch NBA Top Shop, which has helped bring NFTs into mainstream collectible markets. NFTs work because they are a great way to create digital scarcity and are a great way to incentivize users to participate in the platform. The value of NFTs is determined by the market and they can be traded on exchanges and transferred and kept in wallets, digital wallets. How an NFT drop works. Now, NFTs are created by the developers of a platform and they are released in an event called a drop. A drop is similar to an initial coin offering, ICO, in that is a way for a platform to raise money. However, instead of selling tokens, the developers are selling NFTs. The developers of the platform decide how many NFTs will be created and how many will be sold in the drop. Some NFTs are open for a period of time, others have a finite amount at an auction or a fixed price. The NFTs are then sold to users in exchange for cryptocurrency or even dollars, usually Ethereum based though. The developers of the platform, artists, and any other parties can then use the funds raised from that drop and that sale. One additional important distinction between NFTs and other assets is the ability to earn from future sales. When creating an NFT, the creator can set a commission for all future sales of the work. This means that even NFTs that are sold for a very little upfront can create value for the creators in the future. Totally different than old school paintings. The NFTs that are sold in a drop are then listed in an exchange where they can be bought and sold or simply held in a digital currency wallet, remember that wallet. While NFTs are a great way to raise money for a platform, they're also a great way to incentivize users to participate in the platform, which we'll discuss later though. 
top NFT exchanges. There are many exchanges to find NFTs, and each one tends to specialize in different types of art or styles. The largest one is OpenSea.io, which is somewhat like the eBay of NFTs. Certainly, uh, like nearly any NFT can be listed on OpenSea, whereas sites like Super Rare or Nifty Gateway are more curated and selective of the artists that are allowed to publish there. Check out more of the top NFT exchanges here. So we mentioned OpenSea, NiftyGateway.com, Makersplace.com, Rarible.com, SuperRare.co, Decentraland Marketplace, Atomic Assets, NFT Showroom. Okay. The future of NFTs. Due to the creation of digital scarcity and unique assets, non-fungible tokens are a great way to raise money for a platform. And they are also a great way to incentivize users to participate in a platform. NFTs are attracting many popular artists because artists are able to control their drops and monetize their artwork. What's more, artists will continue to get a percentage of future sales of that NFT art into the future. This stands in stark contrast to the current art market where artists only get paid for the initial sale and don't ever see the value of appreciation from their art after the sale. So examples of NFT fundraising, let's get into the fun stuff. There have been a few large NFT drops that have had a charity component and we're sure there will be many more in the coming months and year. Recently, Jack Dorsey announced that the sale of his first tweet, that actually eclipsed 2.5 million, uh, will be donated to the charity Give Directly. This may only be possible if nonprofits have high profiles maybe, or high profile donors that are also already involved in the non-fungible token market. However, this may give nonprofit fundraisers a creative way to work with their celebrities or wealthy donors to create these NFT opportunities. Another fundraising NFT to look at is to, to sell non-fungible doge art. We see this 10% uh, of the profits going to save the children with thegivingblock.com supporting the transaction. You can find that at nfdoge.com. This example shows how a nonprofit can be a fun partner to a meme NFT and benefit from the sale. One interesting use of NFTs is to incentivize the community building and participating, right? So token holders can be granted exclusive perks, given additional airdrops, and rewarded for using NFTs. Historical organizations may also have a pathway to enter the NFT world as iconic moments for people that make their way into the market. So it was just announced, it was announced in March 2021, that the platform Eternity Chain would be creating an NFT of the epic Muhammad Ali fight of the century with Smoking Joe Frazier. And the NFT is the result of a partnership between the Muhammad Ali Center, a museum dedicated to Ali's life. And this is a huge opportunity for all museums and legacy-based nonprofits to monetize their physical assets without losing access to them. Think about that. There is an entire world of digital ownership being built and monetized on many nonprofit and many nonprofit organizations maybe sitting on digital gold. Sitting on gold, Jerry. Another example comes from the artist Wisby, who launched their extinction collection of gummy bears, representing the plight of endangered species. Some of the proceeds, not disclosed, are going to support wildlife groups like the Sheldrick Wildlife Trust. The extension collection by Wisby uh, was on Nifty Gateway. Animal welfare organizations have a great opportunity to make NFT celebrities out of wildlife they support by partnering with artists to tell their story, raise funds. Where to start with NFT fundraising? Okay, begin by generating ideas and perhaps pulling together a small advisory group to explore options of what non-fungible tokens might be hiding in your backyard. Some considerations. Create a list of ideas for types of art or moments that might have value as an NFT. Create a list of important VIP, wealthy, connected supporters that your organization has access to. Research NFT or other professional artists that may have a connection to your cause. Consider how the NFT can capture the conceptual value and appreciate over time. Remember, the better the NFT does over time, the more potential value there is to the creator. Think of how you can reward your most loyal supporters with exclusive digital benefits that don't cost you anything. Develop the ask. Develop the ask which may come in the form of an invitation to a brainstorm. The artist may also be interested in a partnership if it sounds like the nonprofit will be able to help with the press and general outreach. A lot of the success of an NFT drop is based on the hype, the perceived value generated by the promotional work. All right, 
Creating NFT artwork. When ready, consider talking with a platform listed here about the partnership to, or reach out to a group like thegivingblock.com, which is a leader currently in crypto donation partnerships. There are also new players like NFT for Good trying to help nonprofits leverage digital art. Like so many events and creations, just because you build it doesn't guarantee that it'll come. Partnering with larger brands, partners, and platforms will increase the chances of fundraising success. So here are some platforms that will help you actually just create and mint your own NFTs. OpenSea Create, Rarible Creators, Nifty Gateway Creators, Mintbase, Cargo. OpenSea is probably your, your best bet if it's just open and you don't have a relationship, but you can reach out and try to build a relationship. Oh, goodness. I hope that brought you from a little bit of not aware of at all what NFTs are doing to wait a minute, we might be able to build on this. There are going to be hype cycles. We may be in one right now. It's going to come up, it's gonna come down, but I'll tell you what, the form of digital ownership is here to stay. And I think there is a tremendous opportunity for nonprofits to use this as a tool because the cost entry is actually fairly low. You can leverage these relationships to get celebrities, to get artists involved. And there is tremendous upside to thinking about how uh, the rising generation really cares about this kind of idea of, of ownership and showing off their flair, right? What we're doing when we have this digital wallet, a lot of it is exposed publicly and this will be part of our social identity. And nonprofits are well versed in how much it means to their supporters to be recognized on stage. This is just another way of potentially recognizing how people bring the identity and brand relationship of the nonprofit into their digital space, their digital wallet, their digital identity. You have to get there. I know, rewatch it. There's a lot here. I hope this helps. In the description, we have an awesome article that we constantly update with new ideas and examples of how nonprofits are benefiting from NFTs. Hope I didn't overwhelm you. Here's another video. And subscribe, please.